Security has gone so bad in this country that we have to be very, very careful and very stringent in ensuring that we proper solution for the issues at hand. It's not about Sokoto states. Mr. President, across the whole Nigeria, across the whole nation, security has become menace. It has become cancerous. It has become so bad that the situation is becoming terrible, that uncontrollable too. Mr. President, security of lives and property is the primary responsibility of every government. Few motions we took this morning, not few bills we took this morning, uh, the bills that will address poverty. In addressing poverty, security also is a major part of uh, what this Senate and what I feel the government should immediately treat. Mr. President, apart from the bandits, kidnapping, the issue of kidnapping, the issue of killing. Now, bandits go to hotels, even in Abuja. Armed robbers go to hotels, terrorize the inmates of the hotels, rob them, kill them, and move. In the southeastern part of the country, you can't even move freely on, freely on the road anymore. They will kill you, mother, you drop you on the road. In southwestern part of the country, the same thing is becoming so bad that government has to do something very quickly, otherwise it will go out of hands. And it, it will get to a level where finding solution will be very, very, uh, will be very problematic. Mr. President, even in Abuja here, yesterday somebody was kidnapped in Gudu. Gudu is just has boundary with Asokoro. Somebody was kidnapped in that place yesterday. So I feel that it's not just about Sokoto. We have to do something very urgently about security. I think the president has to address the nation. It has come to a level when he has to just address the national security. It's getting off hands. We must call a spread a spread. The sense of occupying sensitive position is to ensure that citizens you know, um, get the best out of that government. And what are the citizens looking for from the leaders? Security and welfare, se their security and their welfare. The unfortunate incidents in Sokoto and other places, especially gener or generally uh, Northwest, and uh, not central is worrisome. This Senate has done everything, including the recently passed and signed into law supplementary budget to address. And let us at this time also commend the Nigerian Army and other security agencies for doing their best. What we are faced with is very different. And uh, I don't think most of us imagined that such thing will happen by the bandits. Therefore, the Senate accordingly resolves to observe one minute silence in honor of the fallen heroes and the civilian who lost their lives in the unwholesome activities of the bandits. Two, urge the President and Commander in Chief to declare the bandits as terrorists and they urge total war against them, including bombing all their locations to annihilate, annihilate and eliminate them. B, declare the non-leadership of the bandits wanted and track them wherever they are to arrest, uh, for arrest and prosecution. Further worried that most of the bandits have now relocated to Southern Bini and the East local governments due to the sustained military operation at the Zamfara State. Exits. Concerned that while the crackdown on the bandits was taking place in Zamfara State, no concerted effort or concrete measures had been taken in Sokoto State, leaving it totally exposed to the activities of the bandits. And the father worried that the present military onslaught on the bandits is not well coordinated because it is only being orchestrated in the first state instead of all the frontline states ravaged by banditry, i.e. Sokoto, Kazina, Niger, and the Kaduna states. We try to treat them in all the locations so that the bandits should not be escaping from one angle to another. Uh, we remember, Mr. President, yesterday, we were in the chamber here when a group of people the Shiite came in and did an attack in, in Guarumpa, and eight people were killed in that place. They also have another 
uprising in Mararaba from uh, around the Yanyan area. So if you are not careful, Mr. President, without us knowing, they will soon come and invade Abuja. So therefore, Mr. President, there should be serious concern and intelligence network on the activities of these people.